Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this 24th day, Tuesday of May. And we're looking at the Tiger Financial News Network 10 a.m. market update. Dow's down 172 at 31,708. Now, what happens very often when you get this very strong last hour move uh, in, the, in the market is certainly in the Dow. I always expect a 20 to 30 percent of that last hour's gain uh, taken off. So we're down 178 right now. Nothing untoward at this particular point. But wait a minute, let me just get uh, the, the volume is coming up here. I should take that away. There you go. And if you're looking at the S&P, the S&P at this particular moment is down 64 at 39.08. That's given back quite a chunk. In fact, it's just underneath yesterday's uh, low, even with that gap up. But still a very good move from the low that was made at 38.10 uh, back on uh, three days ago. So this is at least... A little more than we were expecting, but you remember we had the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone plus the nine period exponential moving average at 39.65. So you can expect some kind of a pullback. Looking at the uh, QQQ index 100, a very sharp pullback down 9.48 at 284. By the end of the day, rather than slide down to the 279 level, there really needs to be some kind of a trigger. I'm not sure what it is because the 10 o'clock news must have come come out already and that hasn't made the market move. So you want to see at least a halfway move between the 288 um, high and 283 low that we're at now. Somewhere around the two, oh, I'd say um, somewhere around 285 would be really good. Get there by late afternoon. Otherwise, it's a real problem. IWM. Plus of 2000, also very weak, down four at 173. Gold, gold is moving up nicely. It's up 18 at 1866, which tells me that the dollar is still pulling back. Yep, it's down 10 ticks at 101.98. Um, now it's below the key support level. It's very short, term. that's the uh, 80. And the TLT, 